Hi, my name is Chris at CMR Let's Call. Today we're here to talk about the LD4-2 water leak detection system, and this is it. This system can be a three or a four zone water leak detection system. Uh, we'll start off by talking about the um, water leak detection cable. This is the water leak detection cable. It's a multi-colored uh, four core cable. Uh, at one end will have an end of line fitted, and at the other end, it'll be connected to the signal cable. The signal cable connects to a two-way terminal block over here. Uh, the red wire uh, will connect to A+, plus, and the black wire will connect to B-. minus. This is uh, copied for every single zone. Uh, so if it's a three zone, you'll, you'll it'll be exactly the same for all three zones, uh, and four will be exactly the same if it's a four zone. Let's put it into alarm, uh, and just to see um, how, it, how it works. As you can see, uh, zone one, comes up with all fleet detected. As you can see here, uh, the arm LED for that zone one has also uh, illuminated. Let's do the fault warrior here as well. To, to do this, all we need to do is pull out zone two terminal block. And as you can see, it says zone two damaged or disconnected cable. And the fault light comes on, as you can see. back each zone has a blue uh, pot uh, for sensitivity adjustment uh, you can uh, increase the sensitivity uh, by turning it clockwise or decrease it by turning it anti-clockwise um, and it's for every single zone will have a, a, a potentiometer or pot or sensitivity adjustment uh, next to these we'll have a small little red button here uh, these are test buttons so if you want to test the zone without digging up the floor to get to the leak detection cable, you can press the button and it will test the particular zone. As you can see, zone one's in the alarm and the little LED has come on there. Coming down, uh, the incoming power supply is here, live earth neutral, three-way terminal block. Next to this is the valve control. Now with the valve control on this particular system, you can have common valve control or individual valve control per zone. Uh, in this particular application, we've got individual, as you can see, all four terminals are fitted. So just to test the uh, valve system works correctly, what we do is we'll put the alarm uh, system into alarm and you'll see there's a little LED that turns up and you'll see the valve start closing. LED is just to indicate that the valve is, is, is closed. The other thing that this system also has is valve override. Uh, if you go back up to the top board here, you'll see a little red button here that says override. If we hold this down for four or five seconds, this will override the valve and turn the water supply back on. This is obviously if you have an area uh, that has a small leak uh, and you want the water supply back on for whatever reason, uh, it gives you this option. Moving further along, next to this, you have individual um, bulk-free contacts per zone uh, for connection to a BMS system. Uh, so the BMS system will tell or will know which uh, particular zone has gone into alarm. Moving on, uh, we have also common alarm uh, volt free contact uh, for the BMS system. Next to this, we have common fault volt uh, free contact for the BMS connection. This is obviously if the, any of the zones get damaged, cut, uh, this will notify the BMS system that there's a problem. Moving around here, we have the sounder beacon terminals to allow you to fit a, a beacon. And next to this, uh, a text uh, set of terminals. So if you want to put a text messaging system, a three user text messaging system, or a more complicated 100 user text messaging stroke email system, uh, you can do. Thank you very much for watching my video.